Okay, everybody, it's time for the very first episode of Steph's House Television. Woo! Yes, I changed the name of my show. The name is called Steph's House. And this is a rock, a rock from the earth. And inside this rock from the earth, there's going to be magical gems. So I'm going to put it in the water and let it soak for a minute. I actually have a few of them. And we're going to find out what kind of magical gems are going to be inside these rocks. And what I did is, is I took this. I took this big thing instead of the other one that I had from uh, last week. I have a bigger one. So hold on, everybody. We're going to go dig and discover what is inside of these rocks. Yeah. Subscribe to my show. It's Steph's House TV. Game changer. Okay, so our first, our very first dig thing, we're going to find out what it has. What do you have? Rock, what do you have? What do you have, Rock? Break it open. Ooh. Oh, wow. What is this? Look at this. What is this? Oh my God, look how cool this is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at this rock. I've never seen anything like this. Wait a minute. This is Steph's House Television's first episode. Look how beautiful this rock is, you guys. <gasps> Wait a minute. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at it. What the heck is this? See, you never know what you're gonna, ooh, is there another piece? Ooh, there's another one, here's another one. We found another one, hold on. Look at this. Oh, I like this, right? That's amazing. Love it. Let's see if there's a few more, right? You always gotta break it open. And then, of course, everyone's going to yell and say, you're supposed to dig. Eh, I like to break them apart because then the video will go for four hours. And then when you upload it into the edit system, it's like, okay. It takes up a lot of space. So maybe I only got two of those, right? Yep. Probably only got two. Yep. Yep, I only got two of those. Okay, so we got two of those, but I can always double check through it. So let's check this one now. Da 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 da. What's gonna be in here? These are really good. Oh, ooh, a black rock. A black rock that I can't get to. Oh, this one's really stuck. Right? A little black rock. Ew. Ooh, no, a big black rock. Look at that. Big black rock. Nope, it's not a big black rock. It's a big black rock with white stuff in it. Look at that. Sparkle. Check that out. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh, there's more black rocks. Is a black rock. Ouch. Over here. Oh, oh, it's a giant black rock. This is like, this is, I forgot the name of it, but it's a flat piece. Oh, where's the, hold on a second. I, I'll tell you what it is. The first one of this is actually called, um, it looks like it's polistic limestone. That's what this is. It's formed as peas of special grain collector, collect here. And um, to be considered part of the pisolite, the peas must be bigger than two millimeters in diameter. That's cool, right? Oh, here we go. That's what that is. Yeah, it looks like little peas. This thing here is a snowflake obsidian, okay? which is this one and this one. 
And technically, obsidians are considered a type of glass rather than a mineral, though it is similar to minerals in many ways. Obsidians are formed from, from near volcanoes. So this is like a volcano. I am holding a volcano. And this is, again, the, but it also looks like something else, polistic limestone. But look at that. Or it could be a crinded. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Game changer. Wow, the first episode of Steph's House TV is really taken off, right? Here we go. Let's see if there's anything else. I don't think so. Da -da -da. Last time when I was doing the other ones, we found like three each in them. But I don't think, because these stones are pretty big, I don't think they're going to have three each in them. Um, let me put this one in here. Put that one there. Let's try this one. Rock, what do you have? What is in this rock? Mm -hmm. Ready? Ooh. What's that? What is that? Okay, hold on. Let's see. Now this is something different. This could be the... Yeah, this thing is called... I think it's called... This could be the crinoids, which are water, right? Yeah, that's that. It says it's a... Uh, crinoids are water animals with many flowing arms on a long stalk of bodies. They're often called sea lilies because they resemble flowers. A crinoid is a state fossil of Missouri. So if you live in Missouri, you're going to find this. Yep. Which I believe that's what it is. But let's go dig a little bit around and see if we find another crinoid. Here's another one. Oop, there's another one. I see it. I see it, everybody. I see it. Okay. Hold on. Yes. See that? Look at that. Game changer. Isn't that cool? Now finding a lot of dark things. Anything over here? No. And we find like two or three pieces. Da -da -da. So let's dig in this one. Wait, here's another one. Whoops, I uh, missed it. Now I found it. Um, you, ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Is that from the black thing, the obsidian? No, that's a, that's a crinoid. Oops. Hold on a second. No, it's... My cell phone was going off. There we go. Dun -da -da. Dun -da -da. What are you digging? What are you digging? What are you digging? There's something in here. Oh! Oh, look at this. It's brown. This is... Petrified wood, I think. Petrified wood forms slowly as a plant matter is replaced by minerals. This can only happen when the wood is protected from normal decay, such as while it's buried in mud or other sediment. Sometimes um, the fossilization process of wood will preserve the pattern of the bark or the wood grain. Okay, I've been to the petrified forest. Has anybody ever been to the petrified forest? That's in Arizona. I was there years ago. Many, many years ago. Let's see this. Yeah, that's a piece of petrified wood. Isn't that cool? That's cool. I have to admit, these are good ones. Look at that. That's cool. Yes. I like it a lot. And then we have this one, which is different. Look at that. And that one has got some, like, white on it. Oh, no, it's cement. That's like a piece of wood. This feels very different. This feels very different than this. This is petri This is very light. This is very heavy. Yes. 
All right, so hold on. Let's see if there's any more wood. Yes, there's a little piece right here. Hey, there's another piece of something here. Oh no, what's this? The heck is this? Hold on. I keep finding more stuff. And of course everybody, yeah, this is petrified wood. That's cool. When I wash this all off, it'll look really cool. We got that one, and is this an obsidian again? I don't know what this is. Okay, hold on. These are actually really good ones, right? Oh, we got another one. We got another one, Piece, another piece of wood. Wait, let me clean it. And dun, 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 dun. Look at that. That's cool, right? I like it. Okay, hold on. So we have two left, so we'll do this one over here. What's in the rock? Oh, what's this? Uh, oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. This is so, this is so good. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look how pretty that is. What is this? Gastroba, right? Or is it Jasper? I don't know. Let me see if there's another piece because it looks like Jasper, right? Because it's red. It has all these lines in it. Wait a second. Let's see if there's more. Here's another piece. No, I think it's like, maybe it's, oh. What is this? Like this one had these two. Can anybody, according to my list, it could be Gastroba, which is, it's, it's named for snails and slugs. Fossilized snails and slugs. That's what this is. Right? Look at that. Hold on. Clean my hand. Look at that. These are very different. Let me see. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I wonder if there's any more. Is there more in here? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Should just do. There's a piece right here. That's cool. That's pretty. Those are cool. If you like collecting rocks and specimens and things, comment below and what's your favorite. Let's just break this. Rock, what do you have? Oh, no. What's that? Oh. This could just be quartz, no. It could be honeycomb coral, or it could be something I can't identify. I don't know. No, it's honeycomb coral, I think. Yeah, it's honeycomb coral. This is honeycomb coral. You can see it in there, look at this, watch. Let me go slow. Isn't that cool? Yeah, so honeycomb coral has existed for over 55 million years. These living creatures grew closely together in colonies. Fossilization of the coral can take 20 million years where minerals replace and preserve the skeletons of corals. The starry pattern they leave behind make them easily to identify. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I like that. Where's the other one? It's in, look at a giant one. Honeycomb coral. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Yep. Oh, my cell phone's going off. Hold on. Okay, so let's just see if there's one more in here. Just in case, is this one? This is a little tiny one. Honeycomb coral? It's like white. Just double check. 
check this. Oh, here's another piece. I keep on finding pieces of things. Oh no, that's because it was over there. I already found that. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up, hold on. Okay, here's all the different ones that we found today, all right? See how pretty? Look at these. So let's just, um, let me just save something. Look at all these beautiful rocks that we found while we dug up our stuff. Which ones are the coolest? I think these are pretty cool, right? These, that, those are so different. I've never found anything like this before. Look at this one. Where'd that one come from? That was like one of the last ones. This is the honeycomb one too. Isn't that pretty? Honeycomb, honeycomb. And this is like the petrified wood. It, it feels so light, you know? So comment below, let me know which one is your favorite, and then we'll go from there. Um, and always be a game changer and subscribe to my amazing channel. Yes, the name of the show has changed to Seth's House TV because of, uh, why not? Because I'm Steph and it's my house and welcome to my show. All right, later.